guys, so today's video is on five Baker Boy hat hairstyles. I've seen this hat everywhere online at the moment, so I thought I'd show you some hairstyles you can do with it. So I really hope you like it, and let's start. So for style one, I'm starting by taking a section of my hair, a similar width to my wand, and I'm placing the wand behind the hair and wrapping the hair behind it. I'm just holding it on the barrel for a few seconds and then catching the curl in my hand to let it cool down in the shape. So next I'm picking up another section of hair and repeating the exact same thing by placing the hair behind the wand, catching it and then letting go. The reason we wrap the hair behind the wand is to make sure all of the hair flows away from our face. Next you just want to repeat the exact same thing on the opposite side of your head, so placing the hair behind the wand again. Once all of the hair is curled, I'm just opening up the curls with my fingers to make them bigger and adding my hat, and then that's the first look. For style number two, I'm gathering all of my hair to one side of my head into a ponytail position. I'm taking a clear hair elastic and just tying it and pulling it up so it doesn't slide down. Next, I'm taking a section of hair out of the ponytail and I'm wrapping it around the elastic band to hide it. And then I'm taking some hair grips and gripping it into place hidden inside the ponytail. Then all you do is add your cap and then that's the second hairstyle. This one will be so great for second day greasy hair. In style 3 I slip my hair equally to each side of my head and then I'm just splitting one side into three sections. I'm just braiding my hair like normal so I'm taking the left section and placing it under the middle section, then taking the right section and placing it under the middle one. You just want to keep repeating that pattern until you've braided to the bottom of your hair and then tie it off with a clear hair elastic. Now I'm just braiding my hair the exact same way on the opposite side and tying it off with another hair elastic. Next I'm just opening up the braids with my fingers to make them looser and bigger because I just feel like it suits the hat more this way and then that's it. Let me know what you think to this hairstyle, I really like it and I think it's super easy to do. fourth hairstyle, I'm gathering all of my hair into a ponytail position at the nape of my neck. I'm just pulling the hair through once, then pulling the hair halfway through the band, then gathering the rest of the hair up, twisting it inside and wrapping the elastic around for a final time. I'm going to play the clip again for you just because it's easier to watch the process rather than me explain it. So I'm pulling it through first, halfway through the second time so that the ends are left out. And then I'm just gathering the ends up and twisting them into the bun shape and tying the elastic around. Next I'm just adding my hat and pulling out some strands of hair near the front of my face and then that's the fourth look. This one is probably my favourite, it's so simple to do and it looks really cute. Finally for style 5, this one is so easy to do, I'm just gathering all of my hair to the back of my head near the nape of my neck and I'm just tying it all off into a ponytail. Next, I'm just putting on my hat and pulling out some strands near my face to frame it, and then that is it. This is such an easy hairstyle and perfect for if you're in a rush or if it's a super windy day. And 
that is it. I really hope you liked this video and that it helped you. Let me know which star was your favourite down below in the comments as always. Please subscribe if you did like it and give it a thumbs up because it helps me out so much. And yeah, have a great day and I'll speak to you all in my next video. Bye guys.